Last week, we talked a bit about growth in our lives and especially in our creative practices. And today we're going to talk about those people in your lives and the different ways in your lives that you receive support as you're moving through that growth. So stay tuned. We're going to lean into that idea today on Creative Spirit Gathering. Welcome, whether you are joining us live in our Zoom room or watching the recording later, we welcome you into our space. I'm your host, Jen Hutchins, founder of Unity Arts Ministry. Our ministry's mission is to inspire transformation, personal growth through creative experiences and spiritual enrichment. To give to support our ministry, you can give online at unityartsministry.org. For those of you in our Zoom room, I will drop that link in the chat bar for you in just a little bit. So today I'm continuing on with the garden theme. We're carrying on with our idea of um, spring moving in to this season. And as I said, last week we talked about growth. And it's a lot of fun to talk about things growing and thinking about the, the leaves budding on the trees. We talked about my daffodils that were like in and out because of the frost kept coming. Um, I will have you know, by the way, that they are now in full bloom. They look very beautiful. Um, so each of us is on our own growth journey and, and growth is a truly, truly beautiful thing. And sometimes growth can come with some growing pains. It can be challenging. In fact, uh, growth is, it's a process of change. And um, I was actually having a conversation with somebody yesterday and she said, you know, change is, is often complicated. Change can be painful. And I said, yeah, you know, I've never once heard a sermon somewhere called change is easy, right? <laughs> it's not, it's not a thing, right? I'm kind of thinking maybe I need to write one now, just like as a spoof. And then like the whole message be about really not. <laughs> but the thing is that no matter how much uh, change and growth and the, the beauty of our own inner gardens can be, there's always people in our lives that help to support us. And beyond the, the physical people, we have spiritual support as well. Um, as many of you who maybe practice meditation, you find that sense of hope, of peace and spirit as well. We're going to be exploring some of those experiences that you've already had today as a way of drawing forward that connection to these many points of support in your life. So the next time you're faced with some creative challenge, an opportunity for growth, you have in mind, some ideas for support, you know, um, where you can go, right? First, I wanted to pull a little bit from The Artist's Way, our book of the year by Julia Cameron. And, and this past month, we've been talking about recovering a sense of power. And I just wanted to share a little bit of what's covered in this chapter. She starts with, Anger, right? Letting anger be a catalyst for change. She then moves on to synchronicities, prayers, answered, um, answered invitations, maybe from the universe. She talks about shame. She talks about dealing with criticism, detective work, digging through your own childhood. Um, and then moves on to growth, like the last couple pages of this chapter. That, my friends, is a lot of heavy, heavy things when we're talking about reclaiming a sense of power. And so this idea of growth, right? The whole thing is leading to this culmination of talking about growth, but there's so much that she's inviting us to look at. And so when we're looking at, anger and dealing with criticism and, and all of these things, ideas of shame, right? That when we're focused on our creative recovery, these things tend to come up again and again and again and again, right? Just show of hands for those in the room. Have you ever had to deal with criticism around your artwork? 
yeah, somebody said something that that maybe didn't feel comfortable about how they perceived your artwork, <clears throat> whether it's positive, you know, constructive criticism or negative criticism that was not constructive. How many have felt some experience of shame related to their creative practices? You know, who am I to bring this into the world? Who am I to focus my energy on this thing in my life that's, um, you know, brings me joy? You know, I don't have time for that. I've got to do all these other things. I have responsibilities. So there are all of these places in our lives where we are invited to grow, to change, to reclaim our creative strength. And at the same time, we recognize we might be mucking through some muddy waters, some challenges in this, but we're not alone. In fact, the, the fact that you are here right now means that you are not alone in this creative recovery. You are here as part of a creative community. And in community, we find support for one another. We find support when we have those moments of dealing with criticism. We we could just wrap it all up in our own heads or we could reach out to a friend in our community and say, hey, I'm having a rough time. This is an experience that I just had. So when we recognize those people, whether it's a community, an individual, a friend, a family member, a loved one that we can reach out to, whether it's related to our creativity, our creative growth, our spiritual growth, or other aspects of our lives. And we have these touchstones, these people that we know we can connect to, then it helps to bring hope when those things come forward again. And we know that we are not alone in it. We know that we are connected and we have support. I want you to take a moment and if you have your journal in front of you, you may want to jot um, a couple of ideas down. When you think about the people in your life who are supportive of your creativity, who are some people that come to mind? Oh, <laughs> I'm seeing fingers pointing this way. Thank you. Definitely, definitely. I'm here to help support you in your creativity. And as you think on the people in your life who support your creativity, next to each name or group, right? Maybe it's a, a creative community, a local arts council, whatever that might be. Next to each one, I invite you to jot down three adjectives that describe that person, that group. In what way do they support? Maybe it's um, caring. Uh, listening, presence. Maybe they're good at, at editing and, and helping you work uh, healthily with critiquing something. And as you're writing these down, or if you've completed writing them, take a moment and just pause and notice how you feel. How does it feel in your body to think on these people, to think on these words of support, these gifts that they offer you? And if you're not getting very many people that are coming to mind right now, just hang on a minute because we're going to, we're going to tap in to that support system that does not rely on the external, but sometimes thinking of the external helps us to draw in those feelings, those ideas, and knowing some of those touchstones, and even if it's one person and knowing um, what that feels like to feel supported in our creativity and again, in other areas of our lives as well.
I have an image that I brought to share with you today. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, it's a garden theme, but this was really an inspiration of tapping in and paying attention to support in different areas of my life. And I began, you can probably see if I get up close, um, with writing. So I wrote first with a um, permanent pen. Can you see that on there at all? I get in close enough sort of light text, um, just as I was inviting you to do, right? Writing across the page about those where I found support and then took the time to lean into meditation, which we'll be doing in just a moment together and envisioned what does that feel like? And what does it feel like when I am supported on that spiritual level? What does it feel like when I'm connected with the divine, when I'm connected to um, my understanding of God. And for me, it was this sense of a constant presence that was in this garden with me, that was almost a mothering, supportive, nurturing presence. And I envisioned myself walking into this garden and being able to sit on this bench and, and just have the supportive conversation with that inner spirit and connecting in this beautiful sacred garden with that energy as well. And knowing that when I am able to tap in in that way, that these growth points in my own life become easier to move through. I love um, this quote that I've come across before that says every blade of grass has its angel that bends over it and whispers, grow, grow. It is often attributed to the Talmud. Um, and I will say, right, doing a little bit of internet research uh, today, just like disclaimer here, some folks are saying maybe it is Talmud, maybe it's not Talmud, maybe it's a misrepresentation of the quote. So I'm not saying this is the exact quote. What I'm saying is this is a quote that I've heard. And what I love about it is this idea that no matter what that growing pains might feel like, there is always support. There's always support, whether we think of it in terms of an angel that's there supporting us, whether we think of it um, as reaching out to a friend and knowing that that support is there when we need it. There's always support. And as we said earlier, right, for your creative growth, your creative nurturing, anybody in our creative community, you can reach out to, and we're here to support you on your creative growth journey, whatever that looks like for you. So today, what I want to do is take you on a little meditative journey to envision your own sacred space and to bring in that vision of spiritual support. And as you're creating your journal page, you may be inspired to do something like this, where it's um, a written piece at first to capture your meditation experience. And um, I used pen and watercolor on this drawing. You could use colored pencils, crayons, paints, markers, anything that you like. You might also want to go like a completely different direction and do a mixed media collage. However, you are field called to express what comes forward for you today. This is your sacred time to connect through creativity. So we're going to go ahead and move into our meditation. So I invite you to become still to take a moment to move into your heart space, making sure your body is adjusted, you are present. So we're moving into our time of meditation for anyone that's just joined in, we welcome you. as we presence ourselves right here, right now. Take a couple of deep breaths here.
Move into the stillness of your own being. Imagine activating your third eye, that place of imagination, the center of the forehead. Imagine seeing through the lens of the imagination. And imagine for yourself a sacred space. Perhaps it is a garden full of growth. Perhaps it is a desert. Lots of sand, not as much plant life. Perhaps your sacred place is within a building. Maybe it is on a mountaintop. Allow whatever comes to your own mind, your own imagination to be the foundation of your meditation. Observe what's around you. What do you see? What noises do you hear in this sacred space? Know that this is a sacred space that supports your creative growth. Wherever you are on that journey, Imagine in this space, the energy of those who support you, those qualities and characteristics that support your creativity. And bring to mind through the seed of imagination, an image of a guide, a supportive spirit, a supportive being who is here with you. Perhaps it comes in animal form or a whisper of God. Trust whatever comes forward for you as your truth a symbol, a representation of those qualities and characteristics that are ever supporting you. Our spirit is source. Spirit is presence. Spirit is love and nurturing, ever guiding you forward on your path. Feel the love, nurturing, and support. Perhaps at this time, there's a symbol, a word, or small gift that you receive from this sacred experience. As you receive, offer gratitude for this time. It's time to rest and connect with spirit within, support within, knowing that you are always supported. So it is. We gently begin to bring ourselves back to this moment this time, this place. Taking a deep breath in and exhale. I invite you now to move into your journal experience to capture anything that came forward for you, 
in our meditation or our discussion today to consider in what ways are you supported in your creative growth. Enjoy the process and I hope to see your finished journal pages during our time of community share for those of you in our Zoom room and anyone joining us in our video later, we invite you to share on our Facebook group, Unity Arts Community.